Welcome, guys. <laughs> Marie, sitting in here live from you with you guys from Capone's. Uh, Marie, it's a, it's a pleasure Let again. Know where you're at. Let them know where you're at. It's a pleasure again, babe. How are you tonight? I am doing awesome. Um, you shot well tonight. And, Why, thank uh, you. We're taking we're taking over a little bit here. We have a um, newcomer. He's actually not new to the the game. Um, skid from Clearwater, uh, Luke. Probably known him for about five six years. He shoots pretty good. And he's up against um, Sip. You know, I like to call him Sip Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and I say it's actually uh, it's a good match. And um, and Brian, which is your fiance, he shot phenomenal tonight. I didn't actually get to see the last run but pretty much Brian I know you're pretty much you're on fire tonight so congratulations yes so, he's doing quite well he's doing quite well and and it's a good teacher for you yes he is he's, he's a good teacher a lot. and uh, hopefully if, if, if you were to stick with uh, the ethics and you know and you know everything that he's trying to show you I mean I know he's coming after me but you know that might take some time <laughs> 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 but it's just um, you know it's oh look at this shot here it's 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 you guys are doing awesome. So, Thank you. how did you end up on the loser side tonight? What kind of mistakes you made? Uh, well, it was a little rough. I miscued on the nine ball, of course, because it was on the rail, and I have to work on my bridge. So, all right, I did miscue. All right, so that that's uh, in my notes. I mean, that's something that I'll tell Brian that hey, it's a couple of things, and I remember telling him last week something else that you had to work on so so a few things I think when you when you finally get that package together you're gonna be one hell of a player I mean I might be saying hey when I gotta play you look out you know watch I mean? out <laughs> 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 so, so we got sip up here now what is he shooting at I uh, actually look played a great safe it's a great safety, and I want to see how uh, it's like jail time here. I don't think the Sip can get out of this shot. It is a you very know, good yeah. safety. Yeah, but you know, Sip, Sip knows his his, um, his angles and it, the diamond system, so it might be an easy hit for him. But I just think it's to me it's jail. You know, looks I know. like a ball in hand. For you Luke? think it's a ball in hand? I think so. Well, let's see. You know, oh, no, yeah, yeah, you're actually right. I see that's something I don't like when the players stop the ball, because I mean, it could have rolled out and moved another ball or whatever. Yeah, it they never let it, it, yeah, they never let, let it finish it roll, but hey. So, um, how are you guys doing out there? Of course, anyone that's local, come check us out at Capone's. Everyone's always having a good time. <laughs> we do. We do. Well, actually, every day. I'm here every day, just about. You are here every day. I got nothing else to do. Play pool, take care of my family, and that's all I do in my spare time. Well, I, when I you love, enjoy it, I love the well. game. I love the game. I'm like a kid, in a, you know, in a candy store on the pool <laughs> table. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you know. I mean, this I enjoy. It. You know what? To me, it is like therapy. You know, this is what relaxes me. So, you know, I mean, I can be frustrated at whatever, or, you know. All I would like to do, you know, to, to calm me down is just pick up a rack of balls and have fun. That's, you know, that's why I look at the game. It's all about fun. That's why you're so laid back, huh? Because you hear so much. No, it's no, no. It's a big no, stress no. relief. It's because I'm an island boy. <laughs> I'm an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that. I'm an island boy. So I, I, I enjoy life. Luke. How you doing out there, Skywalker? You doing good? You don't mind if I call you Sky? You don't mind if I call you Skywalker, right? <laughs> hey, I'm saying good things about you. You got a great game, and you know, we want to put on a show. Well, he only practices every two weeks. He's a pretty good shot. He is. He's is, he is, he is very good. You know. Like I said, you know, we bump heads uh, down at Strokers. He's, he shoots out, um, I think he shoots out of Strokers because um, he's out there in Clearwater. He plays pretty good. He plays pretty good. It's always nice to have players from other places come and check it out. Fresh faces. Yeah. Yeah, you know. 
someone new to play with instead right. of the same, you know, same small group. We always have nice new faces to play around on right, the weekends. Right, right, right. And uh, the turnout tonight was awesome, you know. Almost it hit, was. Almost hit 30, and I think um, what uh, Rocky and staff is doing with the break and run, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, 10 ball. Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty interesting to see who was finally going to, you know, accomplish it. It's going to take yeah, some time. He, he put $100 in the pot, so, I mean, why wouldn't you want to? I mean, $2 ticket and you break and run a rack. Yeah, I mean. It's worth the shot. It is, it is, it is. But it's going to grow pretty fast. Oh, yeah. It's going to grow real fast. So that person who can run a 10 ball rack is going to get a maybe, nice chunk of change. Maybe, maybe Brian would, the way he's shooting. <laughs> <laughs> See, I I can donate, but I know they'll never call my name. So, yeah. I think I th I think I'm just gonna be donating for well, the you're here duration. So much. You might you might get lucky, you know. Yeah, I, I'm not a lucky guy. Oh. I'm not a lucky guy. One day though, you know, if I get the opportunity, maybe I will. You know. Come on, Marty. We need to have the big. We need to have the big Kahuna here in the mic. Come on, Marty. Why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Marty! Marty, one time, come and do a little commentary. Come and do a little commentary one time. We just had someone ask what they're playing for. I'm not exactly sure what the purse was for the turnout. Um, actually, um... First place was something like around almost $90. Yeah, it's about 90 and I think they're doing um, six places uh, as far as payout and um, uh, the... Seven through uh, six through eight or seven through eight, seven eight gets about a uh, free hour pool or something like that. Yeah, which so is always a good So which deal. is which is a good deal? So I mean, with twenty six players or twenty seven, and they pay out the top eight. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it's it, it's not bad. So it's just weekly. Um, it's a weekly tournament, and it's it's a good one. You know. It's not bad. It's five dollars. Right. Three other winners and two other losers. losers. It's a always good night. Yeah, it's always you know come out and have fun. You know, Mr. Brian Miller, you're in the driver's seat. You want to grab this mic, sir? Come on, Brian. Turn it on, baby. You're the man right now. You're you on fire tonight. I'm not shooting too bad tonight. You're not shooting bad. You're shooting great, man. I, I probably pretty pretty much be asking for the last two. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough match. Last match I played. Real tough. Uh, you, you, plays you, real had, you had to play Luke, right? Yeah, yeah Luke, is Luke. A, he's a good he shot. He plays real strong. But, I mean, if he plays that strong, and what was the score between you and him? 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one, hey. I think I'll take the last two. <laughs> 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 now, I'm not never, ever, ever going to take the last two, but keep keep on um, doing what you're doing. I think, you. I mean, you step up to the plate when you have to, and um, it's like always, you know, you bring it, you know. I mean, there, there are nights, you know, like we all the way, you know, we have a moments and you know, shots that we normally supposed to make, we don't make. But then consistency is always is playing a factor in your game. Yes, because you're always stepping up, and you know, this is what this is what counts. You know what I mean? So if you bark at me, I don't mind. So <laughs> you can bark at me because you're doing a good job. <laughs> that appears to be game for them. Uh, who won that match? That Was would it? be Luke. Luke All right, I'm up to again. play. Brian, you up. All right. Well, play good, B. And um, bring it. Good Take luck. it to the house. And Dent353 three, three, wants to know if there's any cash games played in there much. I would say on a daily basis, right? Yeah, Dent. And if you, you want to. Yeah, if you, we do. But if you want to come down, there's always action. You know? Sky's the limit. Sometimes. <laughs> and of course, there's action all three. Whether it be one pocket. Oh yeah, play one ball, pocket. We play. Uh, I, I I prefer to play one pocket. Then three five three. If you if you if, if you game, you know I mean there's action. Yeah, you guys always like to play around. It's good, clean fun and. Oh yeah. Some of you guys like to go back and forth every now and then and. I mean, sometimes you know, sometimes you want to practice hard, pretty much, yeah. and then you you don't just want to play, you know, just for a race for whatever. You get bored, 
but even though you play for a drink or a little the cheap set, you know, yeah, it's something to play for that, what, you know what I mean, that way it's, you know, you focus a little bit more, yeah. you know. A mom's friend, you don't want to go all out, you know, because, you know, maybe the other guy can't afford it or whatever, but you try to have fun, yeah. you know. You're not breaking the bank, but it's just something to do. Richard. What? You care to get that mic or you want to get the headset? I'm about to leave. You heading back to uh, Fort Lauderdale? Are you driving out to Fort Lauderdale tonight? No, nah, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. And tomorrow well, afternoon. Well, have a safe trip, my brother. I will, man. And uh, I think I got your number, so next time I come down there, I'll probably give you a All shout. Right. I think I got your number. If not, I'll get it from your sister. You know what I mean? Uh, Augusta, Georgia. All right. Any pro players around there? Uh, of course, Corey is our house pro. Correct? We have Corey and Rodney also. Rodney moved out. Rodney's in Vegas. Um, I think Tony's shooting out of Strokers. Yeah, so there's Corey Duell so here often. Yeah, and Tony Crosby. And Tony Crosby, pretty much. Um, Rodney's here often when he's in town. Of course, yeah. Tony's got his, his pro shop right down the road. I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, jeez. I can't think of the guy. He has a he has a pool hall out in um, in Georgia. The one that looks like Trapper, Johnny Archer. Oh yeah. Yeah, he has a he has a room out there, and um, actually, um, yeah, he's out. I, I haven't played in that room out there, but um, when I was out there, I wasn't allowed to, to bring my pool stick with me. I went out there on vacation. The wife said no pool. So I know. Yes, day. yes. It was just vacation, so I didn't get to venture around the rooms. So I played in North Carolina and um, oh, wow. St. Louis, you know, out there in Missouri, and you know, I played out there a little bit. I loved it. Illinois. I played out there. It was a lot of fun. A lot of action, but it's it's, it's fun. You know. Yeah, it's in Atlanta, bro. <laughs> Johnny Archer. He has a place out there in Atlanta. And I think I passed the room when I was out there. When I was forbidden to play pool. You ought to look it up. No. That nine ball almost went inside. Hey. So now uh, I think um, Luke, this is the finals, right? This is the finals. Yeah, I think Luke, Luke has to beat, uh, at least attempt to beat Brian twice. Oh, look at this roll. You know what I mean? Come on. Really? <laughs> 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 I got a root for Brian, but I mean, he mi he bluntly missed a shot, you know, but look at the role he got here. Yeah. Tony Watson. Um, no, I haven't. Um, what caliber player is he? Dent. Nice, nice shot, Brian. And where does he shoot? Where does he shoot out of? So it doesn't hop in. Well, yeah, accident, yeah, he so doesn't want to deal. make him that little combo. He plays smart. Yeah, but I think um, I think Brian should be out from it. Well, no, we got two balls tied up over there, so I'm not saying he should be out. It's not an easy that out. Be a problem. Yeah. Last call for alcohol. Are you sure you got enough to last you the night there? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you know, uh, look at Brian jacked up in that shot. Hey. Click on it right there. I got it. I think Brian should have this though. And again, I'm pretty pretty sure he can't see the five completely, but oh, now how did he hit it? Come on, ball, get on out, get on out. See, he had to make the shot, but again, one of those factors that you can't uh, really yeah promise that you're gonna have a good shot afterwards. 
I think what he was mainly concerned about is just hitting the ball, but he made it and um, left himself. Oh, almost make this shot. You know, a little bit more. And then again, to me, it's like selling the farm. You know, sometimes it's good if you can practice to jump and play safe at the same time instead of trying yeah. to make the shot. Because you know the position, you're not really going to get position from you know that angle jumping over there. All you know you, you you're concerned about is hitting the ball. But at the same time, it'd be nice if you can hit it and play safe at the same time. Right. And maybe that's something I should tell Brian he, he needs to work on, you know, playing that jump safe, not right. trying to make the shot, you know. But I would hate to see Luke uh, try to get him twice. You know, I'm not going to be happy. I'll be doing donuts in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hickory, North Carolina, but he stays in Augusta most of the time. No. to three uh, uh, time out here for me I probably have um, the score moved to table three where you know the general audience can have a view of the score and I pretty much think it's one nothing right you're gonna take it I'll do it I'll be a gentleman it's okay but maybe we can have um, uh, Alvin can you just put the uh, the, sco uh, the score in uh, table three that everybody can have a Appreciate it, bro. Maria, I must say it is an absolute pleasure doing this with you. Oh, I think. But we had you go on the first time, and I think you was a little bit nervous. Uh, a little bit. I mean, I have no problems talking to people. But it's, it's, it's fun. It is fun. It was actually a lot of fun. It's nice. So, you know, I mean, and you know, like I said, um, you know, uh, how often, you know, we used to see Alvin come in just for the big shows. Yeah. And now, you know, he's just doing something locally every day where, you know, everybody can come in and interact and not, you know, not be shy and just, you know, give their two cents on the game right. and, the, and the players, you know. And look like, look like he's uh, sketching a gear here. Yeah, it looks like he's in it. I think uh yeah, Brian needs Thank to step you. it up a little bit, you know. He's back in stroke. Yeah, it's two nothing right now. It's almost set, Brian. Come on. Okay. Well, the guy that uh, Hickory that uh, what's his name? Is it uh, Dent? Dent, he's saying, uh, talking about, um, you know one thing, Dent, I've heard, um, I played out in Wilmington, North Carolina, when I last time I was out there, and um, I heard there's a lot of um, world beaters and uh, champions out in North Carolina, so you might be talking about a guy that maybe I haven't heard of, but pretty much, uh, he gave Larry Neville the seven and beat him, wow. That's 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 awesome, and that's exactly things that I've heard about the guys out in North Carolina. And, you know, I've heard some names that, and then they said they got. I mean, this is how it was brought to me. They got some guys that come out of the woods. <laughs> 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 that's how that's how it was presented. Right. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not making this up. And they said these guys they beat Earl and they beat a lot of the pros, a lot of the champions out there. They spot them, and I find it hard to believe because I've never seen it. Right. But I keep hearing this story more and more you know as time progresses that you have all these guys out there that would just you know spot all these champions and beat them so maybe these guys are just they just don't want to be pro or they're just hardcore gamblers they rather play for money you know instead of trying to you know go out there and be pro but to me they're pros in their own right right
Hey, you think we're doing a good job here, Alvin? <laughs> Yeah, we're doing a good. Yeah, we're doing. We're doing. We're doing. We're doing a great job, good. and uh, we're interacting with the audience good, good. just the way you would. So <laughs> you know what I mean. So we're try we're trying. We're trying. Everyone you know what I mean. Really your <laughs> 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 hey, anything for you, Mr. Alvin. Yeah. And then he said he give what was this? He give Archer. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He just likes the hardcore gambling, exactly. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there. Hang on, Brian. Doesn't he have to beat you twice? Huh? Oh, you split. So he beat you the first, and it's over. Yeah. Well, Brian. I know you fought a hard battle, and. Um, I guess this is uh, this is the end of it here, folks. And um, You'll be here all week? then it's a pleasure talking to you, bro. Yeah, and uh, you guys have a good night. And uh, I'm signing out. And uh, Marie, it was yes. a, it's always a pleasure. And um, do. I don't know if Alvin is going to be coming back home, but for the folks here at Capone's and everybody else here. You know, I'd like to say good night and thanks for tuning in. And it was an awesome show. And Marie, I would like to thank you for, you know, doing a great job with me. And, uh, <laughs> hey, pretty lady. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> Go peace out from Jamaica.